Hello everybody, welcome back on our fun episodes and this is Track and Science. I am Steve, all the way from Lamalakura Hills, out here in the northern part of the Serengeti National Park. And today we'll be going out there to, to try check some tracks and some signs, which of course, I remember the first category we did, we did the, uh, the water beast and of course the impala dam. If you have any sort of questions, please put them down onto the comment section below. And of course, I am insisting you to stick with us. <music> So today we come across another uh, type of dung over here and just don't forget that tracks and signs can actually tell us when was that animal in that particular time before you arrived okay so we are in this scene right now and this type of dung is quite interesting because it does look like the shape of a kidney so I'm gonna pick one of them here and just remember that we can touch it because this is more like a herbivore dung they eat mostly grasses you know how to touch uh, the carnivore dung, because that, I mean, we don't even call it a dung, we call it a scuts. So you don't allow to touch that because they eat a lot of blood and some other things. But the animals like the zebras on all sort of herbivores, you can definitely touch them. So here they are. You can see this shape here. It looks like a kidney shape right there. It's quite beautiful. Huh? Uh, I found it so interesting. And this is definitely from a zebra, the king of the black and white stripes. So this zebra came here and defecated a couple of days ago. This is not really, really fresh because you can act actually, I can actually touch it and it's quite hard and it's very light. Just remember that a dung that is, um, is fresh, then it's usually like a little bit heavier because it has all the contents, the water and everything else. But as soon as when the sun hits down and hit the dung, it does lose the water. So even the digested grasses inside there they become even lighter because then now they're in such a fine fine form that is quite interesting and uh so it has been here for a couple of days ago so just by looking i'll say three four days perhaps and i can see already that there were some franklins that they came over here and start picking it up because sometimes of course they might tend to come and pick some insects that will all immediately occupy the dung and making some sort of shelter uh, through this sort of dung. Another animal that has really like sort of similar shape of the dung, it's the warthog. But the warthog one is quite smaller one. Yeah, so this is quite big for a warthog, definitely you can tell. So this goes straight to our favorite black and white stripe, the zebra. And it's quite uh, interesting here because if you look, it's quite in fine, fine form and you can tell how effective their digestive system is of the zebras. Remember, these ones are not the ruminants, but they're just the hand getters and they digest this very, very, very well to a point of which you can tell that they extract most of the nutrients and that's why you also don't see zebras to be so slim all zebras they look a little bit fat and really like in a good shape and good condition all the time so you see that's really cool eh? uh, we found the zebra uh, down here and i hope this one has really helped you and of course these are the things that you can stop by well, by the time you're walking or by the time you're driving your car you can just talk and then uh, pick it up and then show to a guest and tell them this is a zebra all right, everybody, we got another sign over here that has been left behind by a certain animal. And this animal is pretty here. I think this is a day old sort of a dung. OK, it looks like it has been scattered all around and it's quite a very, very big pellet. So this is from one of our special animals that we call it a giraffe, the tallest land mammals and of course our Tanzanian national symbol. So giraffe pellet is quite a big pellet like this. Huh? And luckily is that I have also impala pellets next to me here. And if you look at the impala pellet and the giraffe pellet, the giraffe pellet is definitely bigger than the impala pellet. And of course you expect the giraffe to have such a big pellet because also they are quite uh, big animals. So another thing to consider is that the giraffe pellets or the giraffe stand, they resemble that of kudus. Okay, so it depends which location you are. I am in the Serengeti and we don't have any kudus around here. So that means this is just a giraffe. But if you're in location that you might have both of these animals together, whereby you have the giraffe. For instance, if you go to Roa National Park, you will have the giraffes and the kudus over there. And this all, they have the same shape of dung. Okay, so 
how will you tell if this is a giraffe and not a kudu is by the form okay on the ground a kudu's uh, pellets will be more clustered together like they'll just be in one particular uh, area more like a good grouping while the giraffe one over here it's quite scattered okay and it has been walking onto this side too so it's quite scattered and the kudu one will be right there so if you look at the giraffe's head they are quite tall animals so that means if they defecate they actually throw them down over here they drop them down over here and eventually they'll be scattering the head of kudu is not like that of giraffes they're quite big antelopes yes but again when they defecate that means their dung will definitely just be dropped in one particular area and stay like that and sometimes we see giraffes defecating while walking so if you find a big pellet like this of a giraffe and you find they are on the same series that means that giraffe started defecating while still walking there's a big acacia tree next to my left and this giraffe looks like it was eating over there came over here stood for a certain time defecated here but again up front here i have more pellets of it so i think the giraffe headed that direction that's how you can tell and considering that this pellet is quite lighter right now as i told you that more of these dungs if they are much heavier shiny it depends which kind of color some of them they'll be much darker depend with whatever they eat if they eat more woody material they'll be browner and much darker it's just more like fine grasses so this one here it's quite lighter so that means it's not a fresh one okay and if it's not that sticky it's not even a fresh one so i'll say this giraffe has been here for like a day but this shows that the giraffes are in the area okay that's how you can tell uh, a sign of a certain animal like giraffes they also they are they are dung they are rich in calcium as you know giraffes then sometimes walk around there and they'll find uh, more like bones bone materials from different carcasses and of course they will lick them so survival mode in the bush if you want to survive and you feel like you are lacking calcium you have to take a giraffe pellet and then you bite it so for me i'm gonna try do that right now i just want to see how, how tasty i've never done this before but i think it's quite uh, nice let me just try do it right here so this is a giraffe pellet and it's full of calcium so i think i'm lacking calcium right now um there you go yeah it's not bad <laughs> it's not bad at all mm. and it doesn't even smell bad so you see that's how you can survive out here in the bush if you feel like you want to get some sort of calcium please get the giraffe's pellet so we just found our giraffes over there and it, this is absolutely special as we were just tracking them you know like through seeing that sign the dunks that they have actually left behind we have actually found the animals that we were searching for this is so cool on the tracks and signs and it's absolutely amazing and so special spending time very very close to them like this as you can see now they are walking over the horizon there that is absolutely amazing so I think we're going to catch you guys on the next episode now. This time we'll be focusing more deeply into the tracks and signs, looking on the tracks on the ground, and of course different types of signs that animals live in the bush. See you next time.